right here is uh, mastering a mid-length intro video so no slow-mos in this one it's five minutes long it's going to talk about some of the component parts and while the surfing rolls this is a 7.6 by 21.75 by 2.75 csc barahona potentia or tiburon board the one in new york is orange the one in costa rica is yellow tons of people have this surfboard and so this board combines the principles of longboarding and shortboarding together so you can get a really strong foundation to your surfing. There's a basic roundhouse cutback right there. So the main principles that you want to look at as you watch this video, again, are walking on the board, using the tail, having the legs over the tail and the feet up for the takeoff, getting the chest high on the takeoff, you can practice some longboard walking things because it's really stable. Then you want to look at the differences between backside and frontside surfing. You want to look at the narrow stance, tall trim, and then the low butt crouch and the combination of holding these two stances in alternation from one another. So sometimes you do a long hold of the tall stance. Sometimes you do a long hold of the low stance. Sometimes you press down and through for a light pump using the tail right there, walking a little forward for trim, and then there's always performance or uh, showing off that's important in surfing. It's a performative sport. Also, look at my feet. I talk a lot about this. They're in the center over the line of the stringer. It's kind of some fast pumping right there, leg back to the tail. Caught the rail a little bit, so the one downside when you use these boards in the more shortboarding aspect, which is the same for any long railed surfboard, is that you are liable to catch that front rail when the wave, uh, when you're not sufficiently on the tail or the wave does something funky. It definitely, that's like one of the liabilities. So you can see I'm doing these basic pumps from the center back of the board. Kick out. The other thing is also really important. Uh, kicking out when the wave is done, always surfing in control. I'm not wearing a leash in any part of this video. Uh, this is just a fun thing that you might want to try on any kind of longboard uh, or, or you know higher volume board that you have. Just have fun with your surfing. Sit down on the board, lay down on the board. All right, there's that high chest pop up to a low stance back on the tail, over the tail pad, to the white water, holding the low crouch through the crunchy section. When I'm out, walk back, back to the power source. Tall stance to kick out. Back in beach break, low stance, low stance, tall stance, walk forward, low stance, hold, 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 walk back, hit the section. Very little arm movement very very little minimal arm movement this is mostly with the legs butt ride to back ride coffin this is controlling the tail of the surfboard though so look at this long paddle look at the legs up knees over the tail high chest no splashing in the paddle walking forward for a cheater five all the way over the back foot walk back to the tail some little stalls all of this stuff, you know, watch this video. There's a part two, this is just an intro. Part two is gonna be some slow-mos of some of these rides so that you can break down what's going on. Little bink. More stalling over the tail. And there again, that's the, you know, the downside of the longer rail. You can catch it sometimes. Tripod stance, playing around. Didn't make that right. High chest, foot back for a little baby bottom turn, little baby cutback, stalling, 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 walking forward, low stance, leading with the butt, always leading down with the butt. No counter rotation of the upper and lower body, holding the tall stance, back to the low stance, holding, holding, walk back, bink. All right, last wave right here, little fade takeoff, middle stance for trim, Foot back, hit the section. Next is the slow-mo vid. <laughs> 